Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. For today's video, we have this hair right here. A super simple way I style my hair and how I upkeep it a couple days after. Before we get started, I am Jessica. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I make beauty videos, my everyday style, and just anything in between. If you're interested in that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. All right, this is my natural hair. I already brushed it out. I washed my hair yesterday and I just let it air dry. Usually the first day I just let it do its own thing and this is what it looks like. To start my hair, I always like going in with a heat protectant spray because my hair is especially very brittle on the ends because it's bleached. So I want to make sure that I have everything I can on my hair to help protect that. So for that, this is the NeuroStyle Protect iron hairspray so i don't normally do it section by section i know people do it like they'll if they once they separate the hair they first do that then the next one they do that i don't separate it like that i just do it all at once in the beginning this is almost out i go front and back top and bottom and then i do about just four equal sections around my hair and do that Another reason why I like this heat protectant is because it also has a hold to it. So it'll also help like a regular hairspray to ensure my hair actually lasts a little longer. So now that that's in, then I go ahead and separate my hair. I do the same thing four sections, but going up. So to curl my hair, I really like this guy. This is a Paul Mitchell Express Gold Curl Pro Tool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab I grab about a quarter way through, I roll up, and I let go. Then I pull away and then curl back up again. All the way to the end, then I let go. It's okay if the end doesn't look that great, I'm actually gonna go in after when the hair is done. I'll also go in different directions when it gets to the lower portion of my hair. So quarter of the way, pull, curl back up again, and I let go. Honestly, these little shrubs at the end of, at the very base of my head, I just curl it like normal because they're so fine and short that I can't like clasp, curl, pull, I can't do all that. Next up, quarter of the way, curl. I guess you would call this kind of like tuck it under like that. Does that make sense? I don't know. But you know the motion. <laughs> Pull and curl again. And then you see how I have, I don't even know if you can tell I have that piece of hair. I just slowly pull it through. Don't even pay attention. I'm sorry you guys, but speaking of. Same, oh, I don't know if I mentioned. So I'll, I'll go in different directions all throughout the bottom portion of my hair, or better yet, throughout my hair butt, like the very top. But when it comes to the front sections, I like curling away from my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one with you guys, and then I'm gonna continue on with the rest of my hair and then stop right when I get to the first layer. So tuck underneath, curl. If only my, I was that snatched, if only. And then, done. All right, we're at the top. I actually did three sections today, because my hair, it just really depends on my hair. If it already has like a natural wave, I do three because it's really easy to maintain. If it's doing its own thing and it's disgusting, I'll do four sections. So I kind of love that natural wave, but I'm gonna curl it for the sake of the video. So I'm going to grab it. Just like I said, face framing goes away. It's harder to do this because that part is shorter, so be careful. 
and then I just let go just like that and then same goes for the rest of the top of the head I just go away from my face I personally like it like that you can still do opposite directions if you switch around your hair a lot but for this totally fine and sometimes I still even if I switch around my hair I still like to split it evenly because I like the volume so when it's curling this way and I flip it over there's like more volume on this side love how they just look like little twirls don't worry it's not gonna be little twirls same thing curl away from your face we're done with this next up like I said we're gonna iron out the ends this is my neuro iron I love this guy so it's so sleek so thin and I can really get in there even when I'm straightening my hair even though I'm not doing it today it's so thin I can really get in like so close to my root I have this haft right here and like I said freehandedly you can just split each section in a half and I literally just get about that much I straighten the ends I don't even know if you can tell that much because I'm wearing a black top I enjoy doing this because I feel like it gives it a little bit more of like a casual beachiness and it also helps because my front ends are so like dried they don't really curl as much as the rest of my hair does so this just makes it easier to like make all of the hair cohesive see how that just makes the ends a little bit beachier and effortless Done. Next up, I like going in with the oil. I'm using the Paul Mitchell gloss drops today. If it's not these, another one that I like to really use is the Way hair oil. I just ran out, but I really also enjoy this Paul Mitchell one. It smells really good. Go ahead and run that through. Whatever is left over, I put it right here on the roots kind of. I like applying the oil too because I keep saying my ends are really dry and it just helps really seal that cuticle and takes away that frizziness that's on the bottom. This is still kind of hot, but a trick that I like to do is I always have this. You can call it bed head, whatever it is, but I always have it. It's like a bump. I just roll over it with a heat tool, preferably a curler, and it just helps push that down love that and then for hairspray this is the paul mitchell soft style spray and then i go in and spray my curls i let that dry down a little bit for a good minute and then i go in and just run my fingers through my hair then i go in with this hairspray this is the Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray from Paul Mitchell. And it really helps to just texturize your hair. So I just go in, pick up random sections, hold it up. I know, lots of products, huh? But don't worry, it's very light. It doesn't get crunchy and it just helps hold my hair for a couple days. See how it just gave that nice, like beautiful bounce and textured volume? I live for this. So this is how I normally wear my hair. Sometimes I add a little bit more volume and use a volumizing hairspray, but today I'm not, I'm totally fine with this. The second thing I do, say if it's day two, sometimes I'll leave it like this if I brush it out and then I'll just go in and kind of retouch it with the curler a little bit and then I'm good to go. For day two or three, one thing I like to do is hair clips. So these are really cute clips. Let me, let me break them out. There is another, there's supposed to be a fourth one, but I don't know where I put it at and that's actually my favorite one, which I'm not surprised that it's not here, but it's a nice like minty green and these are huge clips. One thing you can do, I'm just going to go ahead and use a black one right now. And I use the pink one, I think, to separate my hair in the beginning of the video. But what I like to do is I'll leave this to kind of frame my face. Oh, I have a knot. And then I grab 
my half of my hair i bring it up i actually grab more than half i start grabbing from here i know that's a lot i grab about that much i use the clip and i grab it like halfway up so it kind of bumps up my hair a little bit i know that looks a little messy but i like it like that and it's like a half up half down but a little bit more because when I do half up, half down, I like majority of the hair out of my face. And I, if I have it fully half up, half down, I obviously get a lot more hair here. I just play around with it and I pull some hair out just like this. Tuck some behind my ear. It's not perfect right now, but that's how I usually do it. And usually I just throw it up like this anyway. I think this just looks so cute like this already. I also like leaving it curled for day three and four when my hair gets a little bit more greasier and you can if you use dry shampoo you can totally keep on going like this but say if you just want your ha hair out of the way and maybe dry shampoo isn't really working anymore I understand because that's me too sometimes I'll put my hair up two ways so I still have that face framing out and so my curls thrive a little bit Look how cute this scrunchie is. So I actually got this from a small business. I'll leave their Instagram up here. I got it at a little flea market that was near me. And I know this is not going to be perfect, but I have really thin hair, so I do need to like loop it around a couple times. Super cute. It's very cute for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> But if my hair was thicker, this would look so cute. What I do too sometimes is if my hair is very dirty, I, I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna ruin the waves, is I'll put it up in a bun and that really helps fill out this scrunchie and I don't need to do a double tie, I just plop it right on top. Obviously I hold my bun with another tie and then I put this right on top and it looks so cute. But yeah, that's really all I do throughout the week with my hair. I'm pretty laid back and as I mentioned, I don't really do it as much or as often anymore because we've been in the queue, but I still do it and I feel like this style is definitely manageable, manageable for my hair type throughout the week and it stays and it's easy and I can just do so much with this. And because I have a finer hair, I would, it's not straight, but it's not wavy either. It just has some sort of bend. This wears really well because if it, even if it falls out, it's naturally going to have some sort of bend. All right, and that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit more relaxed and very true to how I do my hair on an everyday basis. I know it's simple, but if you like these types of videos, make sure you let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe, and I'd love to see you in the next video. But without further ado, thank you so much for hanging out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good day.